Now, if we're working with a different standard electrode, we're going to need to fix our scale. Let's see a couple of them in our handout, and we'll just see how we would do that. So here you see a uh, figure that I've inserted from uh, this reference that we have down here. And these are our standard reference uh, electrodes. Now, I want to point something out about it. NHE is an outdated term for the standard hydrogen electrode. Standard hydrogen electrode, they just made it a more standardized version still by saying it's a theoretical construction where we don't have to worry about certain complicating factors. But for practical purposes that we care about, the normal hydrogen electrode and the standard hydrogen electrode are the exact same thing, at least as far as we're concerned. Uh, for the very nuanced cases where you'd care more, you'll learn more about that in the context of it. Now, you can see here that the normal hydrogen electrode is going to be 0.241 volts below the standard calomel electrode, or saturated calomel electrode, which is what we expect from what we've seen from the saturated calomel electrode videos. And so just like you'd expect, if we have normal hydrogen at zero, or standard hydrogen at zero, either way, and this at negative 2.41, we expect that the numbers are just going to be reversed when we go up to the opposite side of the scale. And that's actually how we typically will approach these, is using it as a number line. Now you can also see that we'll have our silver, silver chloride saturated electrode. In other words, the saturated calomel electrode. Also point out that it does matter what you saturate things with. Notice that the mercury electrode that we have here, the saturated calomel electrode, it requires KCl to actually be the saturated calomel electrode. There is another standard electrode that we use sodium chloride for the saturation instead. It has a different abbreviation. It has a slightly different voltage, so 0 0.005 uh, lower. Now we do care about that, so make sure that you're looking up the correct values in the handouts. I also wanted to point at that one because different salts and different concentrations can have very different impacts on what voltage will be at under certain conditions. So always pay very careful attention to what value you're looking up in the table, the conditions of the reaction that we're bringing up, and make sure that it's the one that's appropriate for the problem that you're trying to solve. Now if we just bring that back to the three that we cared about uh, in our videos so far, you can see here that we have our saturated cal uh, sorry, standard hydrogen electrode, the SHE. We're going to have our silver silver chloride electrode, and we're going to have our saturated calomel electrode. Now if we're going to be trying to use a different electrode than the standard hydrogen electrode, and we're going to predict what voltage we're going to get from that, we need to be able to make that adjustment. We also need to be able to do a reaction using a silver or silver chloride electrode or a saturated calomel electrode and figure out what its actual E naught should be if we were to put it into a table. So we need to be able to convert back and forth between our practical electrodes and our normal electrode. And you can do that most easily by setting up a number line just like you see here. So set up your values, then you'll go ahead and you'll mark in the value that you've measured against a certain electrode, and then it's just a matter of looking at the distance numerically from the other one. Now that might make more sense if we do it in an example problem, so let's set that up as a separate video.